How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button. That way you guys don't miss out on future videos and streams here on the channel. You guys can also find me on Discord at 6957 the Texas Man. And I apologize for any background noise. I got my dog with his bone in the background chewing so that might be a little bit of a distraction so I do apologize for that in advance. And as always, we're going to be talking positives and negatives, talking about a new show here in 2023. This is a Disney Plus exclusive, so if you don't have Disney Plus, you will not be able to watch this show um, any other way. Um, maybe down the line, you will be able to watch it uh, on physical media, but I'm recording this before that's even an option, so keep that in mind. And this is, of course, talking about Mila in the multiverse. And we're going to answer the big question, should you stream this or should you skip it? Now, this is... Um, one season for right now, and it's an eight episode show. On average, the episodes run about 25 minutes. And each show, I'm sorry, the show follows a character of Mila and her trying to re, um, deal with the fact that she's received this gift that allows her to travel the multiverse and search of her lost mother and to prevent this evil group called the Operators from destroying other um, universes and reality as we know it. Now, as that stands, it sounds like a cool concept. Unfortunately, there's a lot of characters, a lot of plot threads, and moments that are very similar to past Disney projects that we have seen already numerous times over in the past, including things from, like, Upside Down, Magic, um, the TV show Parallels, which I thought was really well done and better than this, and, of course, um, the terrible Disney movie A Wrinkle in Time. Now, the production value, the production quality... Is great. The CGI, special effects, really well done. I think this is a good show for like preteens and teenagers, but if you're like me and you're older than 17, this is kind of going to bore you to death because this show really doesn't do anything new with the multiverse concept. So, I mean, if you've seen anything multiverse related, movie show, movie or show wise, then you've seen this show already done before. Um,. The show still is engaging. It's still an entertaining watch, um, but it's not anything groundbreaking is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then lastly, I want to say the biggest negative I have with this show is that it is really odd for the audio. So the show forces you to have to watch the show in audio from Brazil. And there's only two other options for the audio. And I didn't like that when I was watching this show. So I had to, I, I mean, I, I was forced to have to have English subtitles on for me watching this entire show. And that just really irritates me when you have to have subtitles on and you can't change it to your video language so you can understand what's going on. I understand the whole audio thing for the original thing. For the original actors and actresses but there should have been more than just three options to change the audio and me being forced to have english subtitles on so i can understand what's going on in the show irritates me i i don't like subtitles and being forced to have to have subtitles on really is a detriment so i'm going to give mila in the multiverse for 2023 a 7 out of 10. thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below have you guys watched this show or are you going to in the future? You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys.